Mm-hmm. Throwing dirt in my eye. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking about me and my brother. It don't matter if you're black or white. Hey, and if you're thinking about being my sister, it don't matter if you're black or white. Right? Sounds very good on the surface. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome. Welcome to this mental house I call this crazy world without walls, right? Um, I like to touch on something because I... Uh, first of all, I will be remiss. Let me first and foremost say this before I even start this video off. I'd like to first um, apologize to Silks from Diamond and Silk, uh, her, their relatives, um, anybody that I may have offended in that particular uh, video. I realized that, um, well, actually, uh, um, a subscriber brought to my attention that I was very insensitive in terms of speaking on the dead. <coughs> so, I don't want to be, um, you know, represented like that. That energy is not what I tried to convey. Actually, because I'm not going to make an excuse. I'm just going to apologize and say that um, that was... that was insensitive because I spoke as if that she was still alive and um the gist of the video was that she passed so now that I got that out the way um because of that I caught a lot of a flack on the page and I also caught some flack in my emails and just in general so I wanted to make sure that I say something that and I'm very clear about there's no straddling the fence. I always say who we aspire to be and who we are, it's, it's, it is what it is. And if their world's far apart. And you always hear me say that when you create an environment of entitlement, it is one of the worst existences that you can have and do to people because... Now their perception and their sense of reality is jaded, right? So you're letting your child walk across the street. He ain't been, he just skipped every single damn day of school. He didn't skipped. He didn't played hooky, whatever you want to call it. And then you punish the children that do the right thing by allowing him to walk across the stage with them as if he deserves that. And from when I come from, from my experience, that is the worst thing you can do. Because that is what's wrong with the dominant society, in my humble opinion. They have been made to think that they, are in, that, that, that they can do no wrong, that they are better than you, that there's no gray area. And it's not what we think, it's what we have lived Right. So when you in other words, when you can have somebody ask you like Jane Elliott asked her people, how many of y'all know how black people are being treated? Um, but you don't say anything because you wouldn't want it to happen to you. How many of you know that they're being treated unfairly and wrong, but you don't say anything because of you? That means that's that's the gist of the story right there. You know you don't care because it's not you. You don't feel it that way. You would feel it different if it was you. Okay, and that's okay. I'm not going to argue with you about that because I'm not a, from the entitled group. And I realize that I don't hate white people. I hate oppression. And most white people don't understand that they are the oppressor, whether it's Un, it's, it's conscious or unconscious The fact that it's a learned behavior That's the whole bottom line And it, it really doesn't bring the best out of you And it's a sad commentary Because what happens is Whenever black people stand up in unity Just like in the 60's when they said black power White folk really got upset 
because they perceived that we were doing something that they couldn't be a part of. And until they can see the world like that, and they're not, because it's so deeply ingrained. Just like it's so deeply ingrained in us that we are the uh, downcast of society as opposed to being the first people that God created. And once you understand who you are and what your worth is and who you are, then you can't really let other people define you. It is them who are Johnny come lately on the planet, not us. <laughs> so, and I'm saying this because I really want you to understand that most black people hate oppression. They don't necessarily hate you because of the color of your skin. They know what your history is. So we have to be leery of you. You know, you the one that wrote a, a dictionary that said those of you who repeat the same behavior over and over and over. I got the DSM, okay? I, I, I like to read it for fun. Some of y'all say that those of uh, us who repeat the same behavior over and over and over again but expect a different result have become mad or insane right so i don't know why that don't apply to you <laughs> so for centuries we've been abused we've been that's like it's it's almost insane for for you to make a law and that's and then for us to act according to human nature then something is wrong with us. I would be a leery of somebody. If I watched somebody, you know, say if I had a neighbor and I had 12 siblings and I had a neighbor who was white or um, and I lived in a neighborhood that was white. And all the neighbors picked off my family members one by one. It wasn't one specific white person. It was uh, all of them. That was in the neighborhood. All of them mistreated my family. Is it safe to say that I can be a little leery of you at this point until you prove yourself who you are? Wouldn't it be a no-brainer that I would kind of avoid you until I understand what your intentions are and who you are? And if you say no to that, then I know that's how insane you are. And that comes from the spirit of entitlement. OK, and so it's real, it's it, it shouldn't be hard for us to share this planet as as human beings. But the reason why we can't is because some of y'all have been taught and you think it's OK for people to get credits unearned. You think it's OK for people to have privileged um, um, backgrounds and then allow them to run amok on everybody else. That's what happened. That's what was wrong. And according to Mary Trump. What was wrong with her uncle? He was pacified. And she's a clinical psychologist. Okay? So, but this right here kind of explains it for me really good. And um, I want y'all to hear this. Just listen. Listen to this young lady. Y'all, I said I wasn't going to say anything about this black girl follow trend drama, but you know what? I don't give a fuck today because one thing I can't stand is an insufferable group of people who have been afforded every fucking privilege and still want to whine about everything. Y'all's content is already pushed on this app by default. Everything that we see, no matter what we search, y'all pop up. In order for us to find ourselves, we have to type in our search and then black girl at the end. In order for us to travel the fucking world, we have to search whether or not it's safe for us. And that's because of people who look just like you. But y'all even want control of the trivial shit. And that's why you see so many communities of color banding together and excluding you because you don't know how to be a fucking guest in anybody else's space you always have to be centered you always have to be the main attraction and people are sick of that shit and then when we say something about it y'all want to talk about oh well you guys get more than we do you have affirmative action and all this type of shit we wouldn't need none of that shit if it wasn't for people who look like you creating policies and laws that affect our lives in a real way to the point that we need legalities to make shit fair if you really want to get into it and then y'all want to talk about reverse racism which implies that only you can be racist from the jump which we all know but y'all seem to lack the understanding about that but you're saying the same thing we're saying yeah it's y'all every single time somebody tries to do something within their community here you guys go well what about us what about us start your own shit 
you just know it's going to be bland as fuck. We're the trendsetters. We're the, we're the creators of the cool. And y'all know this. And fact of the matter is, if y'all weren't so busy watching us and stalking us and trying to find some shit that we created so you can water it down, you wouldn't be inundated with black girls following each other. So you wouldn't have a reason to be so fucking mad. That's y'all's problem. You create these issues for yourself and make yourselves upset and then get mad when other people don't give a fuck about your feelings. That's your fault. Stay the fuck off of our shit, mind your own fucking business, and quit trying to impose yourselves where you don't belong or where you're not welcome. Ooh. Ooh. I want you guys to just marinate on that for a minute. Because she articulated that bit better than I could possibly, I could ever possibly um, have. But the sad part about it is it's probably not going to be monetized at all because she swore and YouTube has a new policy now about swearing. So we'll see where we go with this. But I thought it was a good point that she made. Um, and like she stated, stated, nobody hates you. We just know how you, how you are. You know, it's just if, if, if you got an animal that is not... Uh, sociable with the other animals Well you would do that animal justice Not to keep forcing him into them situations Especially when he's Just showing you that he's gonna Attack 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 And what you have to do is uh, Make him and respect His personality And then try to let him deal with What his issues are uh, Some people Don't want any restraints And it's okay for them to End uh, Indonate or integrate themselves and everything that you do, and they will find it a travesty if they're not included. However, like Jane Elliott said, they don't think twice about what happens to you on a daily basis because if you did what you saw. When George Floyd got killed, you would see that every day. I was so proud of my white brothers and sisters. I was so proud because I said to myself, "Uh, -uh this next generation is not going to have it. There's a reset. But now it seems like since George Floyd, here we go again. It's got worse and worse and worse. Now you talking to a person who was already traumatized by watching John Kennedy get shot down in front of America. I was just a barely a kid, barely in school. And I watched my mother cry her heart out, and I didn't know why. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Then I was traumatized again in 65 when we were sitting in church, and my father pulled us out because Malcolm X got murdered. Okay? So, this is the history of these people that if you don't do what they say and they don't like what you say, they have a history of snuffing you out. I just don't see that being um, done by black people. The only people black people kill is themselves. Because it's self-hatred that was imposed on them by the dominant society. And then they don't even see the... the the fruits of their labor. The benefits. Oh, the social engineers and the scientists know. But we claim we don't. So it's really important that, you know, we look at this from a, 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 a mature perspective. Don't mean you have to agree with me. But it means that you have to have a tr mature perception of reality to even swallow what I'm saying. So, let me hear your comments below. Some of y'all who uh, call me a staunch racist and all those other things, or crazy, or whatever um, <laughs> words you knew, use or names you use uh, to describe me, what do you think about what I just said? And if it's you, own up to it. Because, see, I'm an owner of my crap. That's why I started the video the way I did. Let me see if you can own your shit. With that being said, if you like what you hear, subscribe and share. See you in the next video.